Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well and we are back after we had our first four races and the game crashed. But we're back with race number five, the Christmas Cup. And once again, it will be affirmed in the one post position. Secretariat in the two post position. Seattle slew in the three. And four go in the four. How did they get here? Well, they had a win there in their four races. In the Santa mile and a half, Affirmed was victorious. In the 12 days of Christmas, Secretariat was the winner and set a track record here at Hylia Park. It's a dirt track. I had it all set properly once again. And we're basically using the Florida Derby. When that comes up, it says it's a dirt track and it says it's fast. And that's what we stuck with. And the little drummer boy race, Seattle Slew, was victorious. And in the fourth race, Forgo won the Rudolph run. So we're, now we are in the Christmas Cup at Hialeah Park. A mile. Oh, geez. This is a mile and an eighth. It's a little shorter. Nine furlongs. A mile and an eighth. We messed that up. As everything else was a mile and a half. But these horses are a bit tired, so it's only going to be a mile and an eighth. As Brandon Baker and Philip Reynolds has joined us, hope all is well. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Brandon Baker says, Horse racing, I've been playing a ton of Top of the Stretch from Lon Whitehead. They just put it out. Yep, it's a new PC game. New PC game. I download the demo. I kind of like this better because with Down the Stretch... I got it fixed, Clinton. What happened when the game crashed, I had everything set nice. And again, the game crashed, so I was trying to go fast, and I messed up. And you know what? Best just to get it set. Though, this is a mile and an eighth, not a mile and a half. So that's the only difference, but they've all won. D. Scott Howard's rejoined us. Captain Carly, Clinton Parks, all good friends of the channel. Thank you for joining us. We'll just wait a moment. It's a fun game. I like this game a little better than um, um, Top of the Stretch. But I only played one game, Top of the Stretch, and it crashed. Um, I like that you can roll your own dice with Top of the Stretch, but you don't get the animation. If you do the animation, you don't get the dice rolls. They should, I wish it was a combination of both. So, Again, as the horses come to the gate, we have a firm from 1978. On dirt, rated a 95. Here's how it will go. How affirmed will go in the first four turns. Five, five, four, four will be added to its roll. So if you rolled a 20, it would be a 25 on the first turn. It knocks it down to a 24. You have like an even number. That's the way I do it. And uh, you divide by two, it would be 12 movements. Again, we're just hitting auto jockey. Secretariat's a 97 on dirt. First four, two, four, five, five. And then the interims, anything before the stretch, you can see a firm's a four, then down the stretch, three and a three. Secretariat, a four and a four down the stretch, a four in the interim. Seattle slew, uh, a five, five, four, four, the first four turns, a three in the interim, down the stretch, a four and a four. And four go, slow starter out of the gate, two, three, four, four, a four in the interim. Down the stretch, a little better than all these other horses, a five and a six, but four goes got to stay close. And here comes, uh, again, we have Brandon Baker, Clinton Parks, Captain Carl, and Philip Reynolds, and D. Scott Howard. Captain Carl says, I've got the old APA saddle racing game with two horse racing season, Secretariat's Triple Crown Year, and Seattle Slew's Triple Crown Year. Good years to have. Good years to have. And we'll wait to see if we got 10 people viewing, so that's cool. Jump in the chat. Smack that like button if you want, because that does help the algorithms for our channels to be found, but that's up to you. Just enjoy. That's all we want. Swig of water, and we're going to go with the Christmas Cup. And again, I apologize for the game crashing. I thought we were going to get all five races in on one stream. We got four out of the five. And then when I was trying to set up the Christmas Cup with the four winners, it crashed. But now we're ready. 
We're at Hylia Park, Florida. We're using the Florida, Florida Derby, a uh, mile and an eighth. Dirt track and it's fast. Dirt track and it's fast. Michael Peterson has joined me, joined us here. As he said, he used to live in from walking distance from Belmont Park. Very cool, very cool, very cool. I enjoyed going to the races with my dad and my uncles. My mom used to go. We used to go to Lincoln Park. They had the uh, trotters, the buggies, I believe. The trotters, that's what they're called. That was always a lot of fun. So, uh, I enjoy horse racing games. Uh, it's fun. It's pretty easy to understand. So, here we go. A mile and a quarter. It's cut down a bit. Only nine furlongs as they all ran a mile and a half. And again, just to repeat, if you're just joining us, and then we'll start the race. As the horses are starting to get to the gate, they're a bit anxious. Affirmed one, the Santa mile and a half. Beating Man of War, War Admiral, and American Pharaoh. In the second race, the 12 Days of Christmas, Secretariat... A track record. Hopefully that's still there when the game crashed. That was pretty cool. We witnessed a track record. Secretariat was victorious over Citation, Seabiscuit, and Sarazen. Just ran away with it. In the little drummer boy race, Seattle Slough defeated Bewitched, Native Dancer, and Ruffian. And then in the fourth race, the Rudolph Run, Forgo won it over Damascus, Buck Passer, and Kelso. Damascus, a uh, strong finisher, just started too late and could not catch. Actually, no one could catch Forgo. Ran a brilliant race with Heli Ordoro, Heli Ordoro Gustines on the mount. So unaffirmed is Steve Cawthon on Secretariat, Ronnie Turcott on Seattle Slough, Gene Kruger, and on Forgo is Gustines. Helidoro Gustines. All right, the horses are in the gate. A mile and an eighth for the Christmas Cup Championship. And it's Christmas Eve already, folks. So here we go. Affirmed is first. That is a 10 for Affirmed. We go to the Affirmed card. A 10 is a 16 and a 5 under dirt. That's a 21. It goes to a 20 divided by 2. That's a 10. Again, I'm just hitting auto jockey. You can actually play it out, but we're just going to auto jockey. And Affirmed will stick to the rail. That's the quickest ride around the track. Turn 1 for Secretariat. Secretariat with a 5. So a 5 is a 19, 21, that's 10. Secretariat's neck and neck with affirmed. Just off the rail. Here's Seattle Slough. All great horses in this Christmas Cup. And they won their way in. There is no race bigger than the Christmas Cup, people. Seattle Slough with a 10. Seattle Slough will take the lead on an 11... 11 movement, so at 10, we go to the Seattle Slough card. 18, 5, 23, goes to a 22, and Seattle Slough, three away from the rail, takes the lead by one length over Affirmed and Secretariat, and now it's Forgo. Forgo with a 10. Neck and neck with Secretariat. Affirmed as they battle it out, they're all one length back after turn one behind Seattle Slough. We go to turn two. Seattle Slough in the lead will roll first. Gene Kruger on the mount of Seattle Slough. Seattle Slough looking for the two through six. It's an eight. 17 and a 5 is a 22. But again, Seattle Slough has some sort of bonus. Instead of an 11, it will be a 13 as Seattle Slough starts to run. As Seattle Slough is feeling it. And Gene Kruger is letting the horse do its thing. The Colt Magnificent Beauty. Here comes Affirmed. Steve Cawthon, the jockey. 
And there's a big roll. That's an 8. 17, 5, 22 again. Get some sort of benefit. That's a 13. And see, Affirmed is neck and neck with Seattle Slough. And Affirmed is on the rail as they battle it out here in turn two. A mile and an eighth here at Hialeah Park in Florida. Can Secretariat keep up the pace with Seattle Slough and Affirmed? A 12! So that's a three. That's a good roll for Secretariat. And you can see that's a 20, 24. That's a 12. And Seattle, excuse me, Secretariat nuzzles up on the rail behind Seattle Slough and Affirmed. Affirmed on the rail. Seattle Slew just off the rail. And here comes Forgo. And Forgo falls off the pace. About five lengths back in fourth. We go to turn three. Affirmed has the honors. Neck and neck with Seattle Slew. Affirmed wants that one through six roll. That's a nine. Seventeen. 21 goes to 20. That's a 10. A firm sticks to that rail. But there's an opening here for Seattle Slew. Seattle Slew and Gene Kruger, the jockey. Seattle Slew again wants that one through six. Nine for Seattle Slew. 16, 20, 10. And neck and neck, they're battling out. Seattle Slew and a firm. Crowd going crazy here. And now we go to Secretariat. Was one length off the pace. 13 for Secretariat! A huge run on that eight for Secretariat. Ronnie Turcott making a bid for the Christmas Cup now. So that was an eight for Secretariat. 18, 23. Again, should be an 11, but there's a bonus that I'm not understanding, and I apologize for that. But now they're three wide, neck and neck, affirm Seattle Slew and Secretariat. Running up in the rear is Forgo. Forgo really has to start get going here, and it's an 11 for Forgo. Forgo three off the pace. We go to turn four, and what a race here in the Christmas Cup. A mile and an eighth here in Hialeah Park. Affirmed. With an 11. Sticking to the rail. As Cawthon running. Wanting that horse to run to the rail. Here comes Seattle Slough. And Gene Kruger. Falling off the pace just a bit. One length behind. Now Secretariat. Secretariat needs a good roll here. Again wanting one through six. Six! 19, turn 420, gets a two bonus on movement. Secretariat takes the lead and it moves towards the rail. Just one off the rail, one length lead over affirmed, two length lead over Seattle Slew. Here comes Secretariat with Ronnie Turcott and now Forgo just running behind, but Forgo gets to the first pack now. As we go to turn five, Secretariat has the honors. Again, Secretariat looking for rolls two through six. It's a seven. It's going to be a 17. Turn five, we now go to the INT, which I interpret, I call it the interim. That's four. That's 21. It's going to be a 10 for Secretariat. Secretariat with a smooth run right now. And now a firm season opening. Can Coffin take advantage of it as he puts the whip? To the Magnificent Beast. Ten. Cannot. Still a length back, but on the rail is affirmed. Here comes Seattle Slough. Seattle Slough looking for the two, four, five, six. Twelve. Fourteen. An absolutely dreadful roll. Seattle Slough will fall back at an eight because it was only four. Uh, 17. Oh, yeah, that's horrible. 16. Oh, Seattle Slough falling off. Forgo has a chance to take over third place here. And Forgo is neck and neck with Seattle Slough. We go to turn six. Secretariat, a length lead just off the rail over a firm. Then it's Seattle Slough and Forgo battling it out for third. Here's Secretariat. That's a four. Tremendous run by Secretariat with Gene Kruger 
on the mound. That's a 20, 23, goes to 22, should be an 11, but it gets the one bonus bounce. And Secretariat running a beautiful race as it heads towards the stretch. Here's Affirmed. Affirmed has to continue the charge. It's an 11 for, the, for Affirmed. One back on the rail. Seattle Slew and Forgo battling it out, but they got to get up there. No one wants to finish third. Seattle Slew, and here's Forgo. But it looks like a two-horse race right now as we go into turn seven between Secretariat and Affirm. The 1973 Triple Crown winner against the 1978 Triple Crown winner. Secretariat's roll is a six. 19-4, 23, goes to 22, that's it! Down the stretch they come! Down the stretch they come! Secretariat and Affirm, here comes Affirm, needing a huge roll, but Affirm falling back as Secretariat increases the lead by a length! Here is Seattle Slough, they're not gonna do it! Forgo! It's a two-horse race now between Secretariat and Affirm! Secretariat! With an 11. So that's a 9. 18 down the stretch. 12. Uh, 22. Goes to an 11. Secretariat. Really with a good stretch run. Affirm. Oh, Affirm falls off the pace. It's going to be Secretariat. Here's Seattle Slew. It's a lot too late. And Forgo. Secretariat will cross the finish line first. Followed by Affirmed. It's a battle for third place. Seattle Slough. And Fargo. Unbelievable. Secretariat wins the Christmas Cup. We will await the official announcement. Here we go. As the horses get a breather as they go around the track. And Secretariat will be heading to what we believe is the winner's circle. We are waiting for the official announcement. What a race. And there you have it. Secretariat by four lengths over a firm. Secretariat... And Affirm were going at it. They hit the stretch and Secretary, Secretariat kicked it into extra gear. A magnificent job by Ronnie Turcott as they will go to the winner's circle. Secretariat is the winner of the Christmas Cup. Affirm second, Seattle slew third, and Forgo fourth. All won their races to get here tonight. And early this morning. So Secretariat wins the mile and an eighth and the Christmas Cup. Paid six sixty to win, three ten to place, two forty to show. Affirmed three seventy to place, two sixty to show, and Seattle slew two eighty to show. So the twenty twenty Christmas Cup is over. As Shane Sidwell says, good. it was a good race. It was a good race, and Secretariat pulled away at the end. So I hope everyone enjoyed it. I'm sorry about the crash. I wanted to do it all in one stream. We got the first four races on the first stream, and then the Christmas Cup on this stream. I'd like to thank Brandon Baker. As Brandon Baker says, Big Red always made it look easy. D. Scott Howard, great run by the Big Red horse. Merry Christmas. Clinton Parks, thank you very much. Uh, Shane Sidwell, thank you. Steelers fan, 1933, thank you. Captain Carl, 8, thank you. Michael Peterson, thank you. I think we got everybody. <clears throat> and Philip Reynolds, of course. Please check out. Uh, we have some wonderful content creators in the chat. Please check them out. Subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Be safe. Be smart. This year of 2020 is almost over. It's We might go through some more ups and downs, but it will get better in 2021. So, 
the winner of the Christmas Cup. In a tremendous race of great horses, Secretary affirmed Seattle Slough and Forgo. Secretary, Secretariat with Ronnie Turcott on the mount wins by four lengths over affirmed, five lengths over Seattle Slough, and six lengths over Forgo. You know it's coming, folks. Peace! Love you all.